everyone. Thanks for joining us today. No matter where you are, World of Warcraft unites us all. Whether you're exploring the Shadowlands, classic Azeroth, or another part of the Blizzard universe, I'm glad you could make it, because we've got a lot of good stuff to show you. But first, let's start with some Covenant pride. Kyrian, take flight. Night Bay, let the hunt begin. Necrolords, to war! Vinthe, let's party. The world has thrown a lot at us since the last BlizzCon, and the thing that's really kept everyone going on the WoW team has been connecting with all of you. The bonds we forge with our guilds and family and friends in WoW are powerful and real. As WoW enters its 16th year and Blizzard celebrates its 30th anniversary, we're so grateful to have the most dedicated and friendly communities in gaming. Let's recap the events in Azeroth. In WoW Classic, we fought an endless battle for South Shore and Torin Mill. We banded together to open the gates of Ankaraj and joined forces to take down Kel'Thuzad in his floating citadel of Naxxramas. In Shadowlands, we helped our Covenant recover from the Anima Drought, brought on by Sire Denathrius, master of the Vinthyr and traitor to the Pantheon of Death. We survived the Halls of Torghast and crafted legendary gear in our efforts to expel Denathrius from his castle lair. But innocent souls are still wrongfully being sent to the Maw. They face an eternity of torment, and heroes like Anduin remain chained in its depths. The Jailer continues to grow in power. He's preparing to break free from the Maw and complete his plan to unmake the entire Warcraft universe. And Sylvanas. You may be wondering what she's been up to all this time. Today, we're excited to unveil our first major content update for Shadowlands, Chains of Domination. Look around you! What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his ends? Enough! Join our cause or be made to serve. Right now, you hold all the power. Make your choice, Sylvanas Windrunner. Despite all our efforts, the Maw continues to grow. What if Denathrius' treachery is irreparable? The Primus is lost, and Bastion cannot save the Shadowlands alone. None of this should have happened. Perhaps the Winter Queen could... My Archon, a living soul, seeks an audience. A mortal? A king. By all our measures, one who has spent his life striving for justice. One who would give anything to serve his people. One whose heart is true. Very well. He may approach. Step forward. My Ascended have spoken of you. The King held captive in the Maw. That prison could not hold me forever. Why have you come to Bastion? You have a key that I need. You will release this soul from your grasp. No. He is bound to me. Just as you were sought to buy your own brother.
its part flawlessly. Three keys remain. Then they will see. Death was never meant to be changed. so intense. I know you probably have a lot of questions about what you just saw and what it means for the next stage of your Shadowlands journey. Later today, my teammates Ian and Jeremy will be telling you more about Chains of Domination in our Shadowlands update. Please check out the World of Warcraft channel to find out more. Next, I'm excited to share our upcoming World of Warcraft charity pet program. We've heard a lot from our community about how much they love these pets and the opportunity to give to a good cause, along with ideas to make the program even better. So during this upcoming campaign, you'll be able to donate whatever amount you wish to directly support our chosen charity. Once donations reach our goal, everyone playing World of Warcraft will get a pet for their collection as a thank you. Whether you were able to contribute personally or not, and to make this a fun challenge, if we reach a stretch goal, everyone gets a second pet too. And here they are. The first pet is Bananas, literally. He was originally available to a select few back in Burning Crusade era, so we're excited to give everyone a chance to adopt him. And if we reach our stretch goal, you'll also get Daisy the Sloth. She's an all new pet who'll hang around your neck when you need a hug. Your donations during this campaign will go to support the medical humanitarian organization, Doctors Without Borders, also known by their French name, Médecins Sans Frontières, or MSF. They're an amazing group doing important work around the world. We're grateful to have such a generous community and we hope you'll help support this worthy cause. We'll be sharing the details about the Charity Pet Program on the World of Warcraft website soon. So we've talked quite a bit about Shadowlands. Classic players, now it's your turn. It's my pleasure to hand off to my teammate, Holly Longdale. She's a longtime WoW player, a veteran MMO developer, and she's gonna tell us what's in store for WoW Classic. Everybody. First, I'd like to thank all of you who have ever been part of the WoW community over the years. You know, online worlds like WoW have been a huge part of our lives for decades now. As a dedicated MMO fan and a developer myself, I remember hearing that Blizzard was going to be making their own MMO. And I thought, well, I guess I'll check out that beta. And sure, we all call the game WoW, but really, WoW. I could not believe I got bit by the MMO bug again. I was so excited to be able to make a night elf hunter and be like that famous dark elf ranger from the books that I loved. I have to tell you, Azeroth was, and still is, a place I love to live. Since last year, I've had the great honor to work alongside the WoW Classic team to bring these nostalgic experiences back to life for longtime fans and a whole new generation of players. As a fan myself, I've had so much fun in WoW. From the simple things like drive-by buffing or making friends on that long haul from Teldrassil to Ironforge, all the way to the absolutely staggering, like when I jumped blindly through the dark portal and was running through Hellfire Peninsula, heard this terrifying noise and then saw the Fell Reaver, biggest roamer I had ever seen, and I was very glad I had Bane Death in that moment. And that's the thing about WoW. These stories and experiences we all share keep us coming back time after time. With that said, I'm super excited to be able to share with you where our adventures 
are taking us next. back so many memories, right? Like exploring the fungal forests of Zangar Marsh or being awestruck at the chaotic magic alive in Netherstorm, the Draenei in Exodar, the Blood Elves in Silvermoon. I love playing them both. Do you choose to enlist the Aldor or the Scryers in your quest to fight the Legion? And of course, we can't forget gathering all your friends to fight Illidan at the top of the Black Temple. I can't wait to relive it all with you. Since the team first set out on their own quest to bring the original WoW back to life, we have learned a ton about what players are expecting from this kind of experience. We've also learned when to keep things just as they were and where we all might be open to some changes. We're bringing all these lessons into Burning Crusade Classic with our primary goal to bring back the same feeling you had when you faced the Fell Reaver for the first time, or when you were digging through piles of Fellhound poop. Of course, we can't get this right without you, our incredible community. Soon, you'll be able to revisit Outland yourself when beta starts and tell us what you think. Later, all WoW Classic players are going to be presented with a meaningful choice for each one of your beloved characters. Do you want to move on into Burning Crusade Classic? Or do you want to stay in the original classic era forever? Whatever you decide, you can do it all with your one WoW subscription. Now, I know I've thrown a lot at you, but don't worry. We'll be getting into the details in our panel later today. So stick with us. We'll make sure you are prepared. <laughs> 